All right, everyone. Here we are with WKHS Workhorse Group, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first-time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back, and let's jump into this chart. So Workhorse had a bullish run, very healthy one. I've been talking about it in all my videos, or for most of them. I always talk about how this has had a healthy run in a bullish direction right we've been seeing it for months now and it went to highs here at one point earlier in the um year excuse me july and it hit 22 dollars and some change then it quickly leveled off it hit highs again it leveled off and once it leveled off here it skyrocketed and it hit its highest point closer to 31 dollars and some change so 31 dollars is a very important number for workhorse right now and specifically for the bulls the bulls want to break through 31 dollars to hit newer highs very important for them and now in the short term because after that bullish run there was a dip and that dip is right here at 20 dollars and 35 cents 20 dollars and 38 cents it was in that area that was the lowest point after this run so very important number to keep in mind as well if that gets broken through this could be on its way down to newer lows and newer support levels but right now there was a slight recovery and more zoomed in as we can see i'm going to get all the way as close as i can to those numbers way up here was the highest point at 28 and 60 cents that was the recovery from the 20 dollars and 35 cents and from that point forward we have seen this one slowly slip away so we're gonna see what's important for tomorrow but the bulls need to come in hefty to get back over the 50-day moving average from 2860 they have fallen 2860 right now is an important number in the short term for the bulls they need to break through it so they can continue the momentum to reach newer highs so let's go ahead and see here our resistance levels and new supports so let's move everything here after a very volatile day of jumping through resistance and hitting highs of 26.93 and now slipping down and closing out at 25.41 our resistance levels and support levels have slightly moved and it's a little bit broader than yesterday's so let's look here what this has to show us so here we are with obviously our new resistance levels and supports and one thing that's really standing out to me is how the 50-day moving average is within both of them and we're below it right now yes there's a recovery here and this momentum is great for the bulls closing out at 2541 could they continue that momentum that's the question so right now the 50-day moving average is 2591 25.91 if that gets crossed obviously now the bulls are now in bullish territory but they won't gain control fully until they break the first resistance level which i'm going to go into in just a second and if we're below it the bears are in control right now we stand below the 50-day moving average where the bears have gained control over this stock and they're going to try to bring this down to newer lows so 25.91 is a very important number Keep that in mind and pay very close attention to, to what side of the chart we are in. Now, our support level is way down here at 2458. If 2458 gets broken through, I want to emphasize how important it is to pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? Are the bears taking this one down fast or are the bulls even trying to reappear? by the bulls trying to reappear it does not mean that the bulls have gained control or anything that's great that they can reappear and build some momentum but they won't gain control until they break through 2591 very important to keep that in mind that the bulls need to break through that number but i want to emphasize how important it is to pay close attention to the behavior of this stock if 2458 gets broken through now if the bears are tearing through this fairly quickly and bringing it down 
to newer lows and new support levels. The next support level would be way down here, close to 24, 12, 24, 10. That point right there is one of the most important points. That's the lowest support level in this bearish run after we've fallen below the 50 day moving average from hitting the highs of $28. So 24, 10, if that gets broken through, the bears have accomplished two things. They broke through two support levels, which is 2458 and 2410, bringing this down to newer lows and new support levels, right? And they've accomplished bringing this further away from the 50 day moving average, gaining more control and starting to hit new support levels and tear this one down to newer lows. Now on the other spectrum, which is what the bulls want, and they've created some momentum here after this slight dip. Now, closing out at 2541, the bulls are going to want to break through the first resistance level, and that's 2634. Super important. That point right there will allow the bulls to accomplish two things. They broke through the 50 day moving average of 2591 and gotten themselves back into bullish territory, and they broke through the first resistance level in bullish territory which is 2634 they need to turn that into a support prove it and test it and start to work their way up to newer highs if that is accomplished by the bulls then the next resistance level will be up here at 2691 but that's not something to worry about until 2634 is broken through and turned into a support and obviously the bulls have accomplished getting past the 50-day moving average of 2591 and get themselves back into bullish territory creating the first resistance level as a support to continue to work their way up further away from the 50-day moving average in an upward direction and create breakthroughs through new support levels created after breaking through all these resistance levels and moving up to newer highs as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe but don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications so that you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index, right? So in the index, there's 500 companies and ticker symbols to choose from. So on scheduled dates from the Federal Reserve, the markets are being pumped and the s p 500 i've come to find the index it rises up several points well what does that mean well if it rises up several points there are ticker symbols within it rising with it and there's 500 ticker symbols so you have to do some due diligence and research but they're rising anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it doesn't sound like a lot 30 cents to three dollars per share but profits, as I always say, are profits. And honestly, in the market, it's a really good trade once you've put in a dollar and gone back two dollars, in my opinion. I think many of you can actually agree with me because there's a lot of us that put in a dollar and all of a sudden the trade goes wrong and we shave off a couple cents off of it and we get back 95 cents. But when you do that several times, <laughs> those five cent losses do add up. So one thing that I think is very powerful about the market is trying to be as profitable as possible as much as you can and just trying to put in a dollar to get back two dollars once that happens you know you can actually focus more on less greed and letting not greed take over where you can actually anticipate higher numbers or percentage of return that can actually hurt you because if you see returns and you don't clock out on them sometimes you can lose the returns and even your initial investment with this strategy i'm not guaranteeing you profits i'm not telling you to buy sell or hold i'm just here to inform every viewer and investor on the great news that there's an opportunity to profit 30 cents to three dollars per share and on these scheduled dates i go into more detail about it in the video i will be posting a new updated video soon but once you watch that one you'll get the gist of it and i do a weekly series on it so be ready and stay tuned for the next video. Again, this is to maximize profits and minimize losses as much as possible. And I'm here to help you all to enlighten you guys 
on something many people are overlooking or aren't even aware of. Check out the video. It should be popping up soon if it hasn't already. Click on the video once it pops up on the top. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.